Hi, this is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. In today's third and fourth grade math video, we will be reviewing word problems, words and phrases that mean add. Come along with me, third and fourth graders, as we discuss different words that when we see them in a word problem, we know we need to add. Before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also click that notification bell so that you will be notified of more third and fourth math and reading videos that come out. Let's get started. So the first phrase we will be going over is in all. When we see in all in word problems, we know we need to add. Let's look at an example. There are four pencils in the drawer. Tim placed three more pencils in the drawer. How many pencils are now there in all? Okay, so again, we have four pencils in the drawer. Tim placed three more pencils. We see our word, our phrase in all, that means we need to add. So four pencils plus three more pencils is equal to seven pencils. Let's go to the, ne the next addition phrase, in total. Our example says, Melanie grew eight cantaloupes. Mike grew five cantaloupes. How many cantaloupes did they grow in total? Okay, so again, when we see in total, we know we need to add our numbers together. So eight cantaloupes plus five cantaloupes is equal to 13 cantaloupes. You guys are doing great. Let's move to a word that means addition. Jason found three seashells and Fred found six seashells on the beach. How many seashells did they find together? Again, together in our word problem means add, so we are going to add three seashells plus six seashells is equal to nine seashells. Let's look at another word that means addition. Some. Aren't our kittens cute? Okay, our problem says, what is the sum of 23 kittens and 72 kittens. Some means add, so we are going to add 23 kittens plus 72 kittens, and that means we have 95 kittens. Pretty simple, right? Let's move to another example. Combined, Sarah went to three basketball games this year. She went to two games last year. How many basketball games did Sarah go to combined? So since we know how many she went to this year and last year, in order to see how many games she went to combined, we need to add. Three basketball games plus two basketball games is equal to five basketball games. Let's look at one more phrase increased by. When we see increased by, that means we need to add. Our sample problem says, when Simone went outside in the morning, it was 75 degrees. Oh, that feels pretty good. When she went to play in the afternoon, the temperature had increased by 13 degrees. What was the temperature in the afternoon? Okay. Since we know increase by means to add, we are adding 75 degrees plus 13 degrees, and that is equal to 85 degrees. So, these are some examples of words. When we see them in word problems, it means to add. In all, together, added to, plus, combine, sum, more, all together, increased by, in total, and also in total. Now remember, this isn't the full list of words that mean to add. So, can you think of any other words? If so, type them in the comments box. 
This has been Shay Jackson with Hype Math. Talk to you soon.